I am Lefred, so welcome to this new video series, MySQL 101. It's MySQL for beginners. We will see during this, all these videos how to install MySQL on different platforms, how to use it, how to install the clients, MySQL Shell, MySQL Shell for Visual Studio Code, how to add data in tables, or to delete data, how to play with JSON data type, and so on. So stay tuned for extra videos, and let's start right now. Today we will see how to install MySQL server on Windows. So first thing, it's going to the website devmysql.com and in MySQL downloads, we choose MySQL community server. And we have everything we need on the first page already. So we're gonna use the MySQL installer, installer for Windows. We select MySQL Installer 8.0.31, which is the latest one right now. I use the web download one. It gets installed on my machine. And now we will follow the, the wizard to install what we need. So here first it's okay, we can use it and install the installer. We will run the installer. And the installer is here. So first thing we have the type uh, we can choose like developer default, server only, client only, full or custom. And we can see what's in, uh, inside every uh, option. I will uh, choose right now to install only the um, MySQL server and MySQL shell. So I go in custom and here I can see all the version I need, all I need, all the package I want. So I want to use MySQL server 8031, the latest one, and also MySQL shell, also the latest one. So I use MySQL shell 8031. I'm happy with this selection and I proceed by using next. So now the installer will download the package and start their installation. Everything is download. We click next to execute the installation. So we install MySQL Server 8031 and MySQL Shell 8031. Now we will need to configure the MySQL Server. So we use next, what type of computer or type of config we want, development computer, server computer, dedicated computer. I will use development computer here, which is we'll use a minimal amount uh, of uh, resources just for me to play with. I use the strong password encryption, the default in MySQL 8, and I will also enter the MySQL root password two times to be sure it's the same. I will add a user from the installer and I will use Fred with the password. So this will be an extra user on my database server. Next, I want to uh, run MySQL uh, as a service. So MySQL Server will be uh, known as MySQL 8.0 as a service. I keep the default and do next. Now I will execute the configuration step. You can also check in the log tab what's going on, what's happening on the system and follow each step here or in the first um, tab. It's installed, we can click on finish. Everything is done, the configuration is done. And now uh, we can see in shell and try it. So we will connect using root at localhost with the password we uh, added during the installation.
we can save the password in our credential. And now we are connected to the MySQL server running on the Windows machine. And we can see that we are using the server 8.31. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.